Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video, and I forgot to turn off my fan. I've turned off my fan, and I'm here to talk about the new Ilya that just got announced for the prize showcase. Uh, we're gonna see what she does, and now for a lot of people, this will decide whether or not they decide to do more summons for Gatov or Nevin. Chances are just Gatov. If you're summoning, because uh, I'm gonna assume that, yeah, that Nevin's on here as well, so that makes sense. Um... It will be the good like ender to see, hey, if I want to summon here or not, it'd be a good idea. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment down below now that you know what she does, if you're still planning on summoning or if you're now just going to wait. Um, again, there's a lot of stuff to summon for, especially at the end of the year, and everyone is kind of tapped out in general when it comes to after anniversary times. And subscribe to me if you want some more stuff. So let's get into it. So if you don't know, this is a prize showcase. Never summon for the prizes, they're not worth it. You only summon if you want the unit, and this is the unit, Dragon Yule Ilya. And if you're curious, Nevin is on here too. Nevin is very good. A uh, damn solid Wind Dagger, considering that the other Wind Dagger that's mostly used is Galanot. Still an extremely good unit, so something to bear in mind. Something to think about. If you don't have him, definitely worth summoning if you've somehow decided to just skip the current Galadrigalia or you had no luck on him. Okay, so an alchemist from a thousand years in the past, after learning what a big event her birthday is, she comes to the birthplace of Dragon Yule, and though the legends puzzle her, she's set up to provide proving state Starfell is real <laughs> in order to protect the hopes and dreams of children everywhere. Damn, God she, herself shows up and says, Santa's real. I'm tired of these people not believing in Santa. Alright, so let's see. Full, Thought or Ride, Shareable 5, Consumable the entire... No, Consumable. Consumes the entire Alchemy Gauge and all al Alchemic Cartridges and deals damage to enemies directly ahead. If two or more cartridges are consumed, this damage and its area of effect will be increased based on the number of cartridges consumed. Change direction as possible during the attack. Damage is 180 for one of the hits and 90 for the 9 hits. Damage one or few cartridges is 700. 1,200 for two cartridges, and 1,900 for uh, three cartridges. Skill energy required is 3,810 and 8,115 for... Wow, really? I wonder how much... When a shared skill, how many cartridges would it be considered? I guess none, because they don't have any cartridges. Weird. But it doesn't have any extra effect but dealing damage, so I don't know what the point of making that a shared skill is. Uh, anyway, Dragon Yule Boost completely fills the al it, uh, the Alchemy Gauge and grants the entire team a def team defense amp. Level 3, 18,000! Okay, sure. Whatever you say, Trillia. <laughs> Whatever you say. Co ability Gauge Accelerator 20%, Chain Co op ability Flame above 10 hits equals Wind Resistance 10%. Alchemic Agility, dodging will carry an additional attack towards the targets. The ability also grants the user an Alchemy Gauge. The Alchemy Gauge fills when standard attacks and dodge connects. Uh, also, each time one charge of the Alchemy Gauge is filled, the user will be granted an Alchemic char cartridge. Cartridge? 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 Cartridge. Stun Resistance 100%. Starfell Spirit 2. Grants the use of the Starfell Spirit effect for 15 seconds when a cartridge is consumed. Starfall Spirit now stacks up to three times, and each stack increases the user's strength and critical rate by 50, 15%. Damn. So a full stack shall have 45% crit rate and strength. It's not bad, to be honest. Um, hmm. She has... What's the nice way of saying this? She has a lot of competition on fire. She is a mana caster, so that kind of puts her... <laughs> up against um uh galileo because galileo is the go-to man for everything uh galakatov who just came out who is extremely good and is apparently almost as good as galileo which is crazy when you think about it um it, it kind of depends on certain circumstances but both of them extremely powerful units <laughs> so having to follow them up is a tall task not only that there's a lot of like Units that kind of do Scorched and other stuff, 
you know, burning. She doesn't do either of them. She kind of seems to be 100% focused on. And even in terms of raw damage, there's a lot of dudes that just do raw damage. The one thing that's kind of nice, though, is that her Dragon Yule Gauge here... Um, the one thing she does have access to, which is the thing to remember, because she is fire, she actually has access to Gallimars. And Gallimars with this ability here, that just means you always have a team defense amp if you are spamming Gallimars. Uh, it makes it very easy for you to get to level 3 very quickly. Uh, which is probably why they put this at such an insane high thing. But it also, if you think about it like this, if you actually abuse uh, Mars, you're able to use Dragon Yield Boost, Full Throttle Ride, and just deal a sh shit ton of damage. And just go. And just go with it. And then if you use the other two skills and you kind of like do some Dragon Damage up, it can. I think that could end up working. It's a, it's a very niche style build, and at that point, if you're going for crazy dragon stuff, unfortunately, there's also dragon units, such as the Prince and Galamim, who also kind of do that. But I don't know. I think I think she kind of... Funny enough, as much as I say... Actually, I think it's a double-edged sword, because I think Mars gives her a lot of opportunity to kind of spam her stuff and deal a lot of damage. So maybe I am underestimating what she can potentially do, because now that I think about it with Mars, you could potentially just deal a buttload of damage. The problem is, is that Fire already has a lot of units that deal a buttload of damage, so this girl gotta be uh, packing in that spicy heat if she's gonna be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. That's basically what I'm trying to say here, is that I think she actually seems pretty good to me, to be honest. The only problem is, is that she's Fire, and there's already a lot of very good Fire units in the game. So you have to kind of bring something different, and if she's bringing DPS, she better be a damn good DPS. The other thing that's good actually is this ability here, which is the ability to dodge while carrying an additional attack toward a target. Um, it should ha it's very nice. I actually really like Starfield Spirit too. So I'm actually kind of curious to see how she does. I still I still definitely want her. And I think I have one multi ready for her. So I'm going to be throwing my one multi and I think that's about it for me. Uh, I think I've already kind of decided, I guess I'll just wait for the 100 free summons and... Whenever they do the next 100 free summons, because the last one they did, um, not the last one, but the first one they did, had uh, Dragon Yule characters. So that makes me think in the six months later from now, six months down the line from now, we should have them back in a banner. And then they'll do it again around anniversary time, but this time with um, Halloween units. I'm okay with waiting six months because I play Fago, and in that, in that game it's two year waits long for some of the units I care about, so I'm kind of used to it. But for most people, if this is a unit you absolutely care about and you love Ilya, I, this is the, your best chance. Go for it now, man. You're not going to get another chance like this. At least I don't think so. So yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Again, those are my thoughts. I'm very curious to hear what you have to say. Um, I know Ilya is a very loved character. I don't blame you. Look at this outfit. I feel like this outfit enough, every time I look at it, I'm like, damn. Damn, you're gonna make me something. <laughs> no matter what, I was always gonna throw whatever one multi I had. And hope for the best. And again, like I said, this banner's not bad, because again, the prize showcase is an added bonus, never the, the reason to summon, but this also has Dragon Yule Nevin in it. And Dragon Yule Nevin is very good. Ilya, to me, seems good. So... All in all, I'd say worth it for summoning if you care about that, but, you know. What do I know? And that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like. Helps out the whole channel a whole bunch. Uh, this, the, the, you can't see the dislikes anymore, but I still see your dislikes, so don't worry about it if you're one of those dudes. I acknowledge you. <laughs> I notice. So until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.